Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to multiply mixed numbers and whole numbers. We have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's jump right into number one, where we have eight times one and three fourths. The steps that we're going to take to solve these are at the top of the screen. The first thing we need to do is change any mixed numbers or whole numbers to improper fractions. That way we have numerators, top numbers, and denominators, bottom numbers, and we can multiply straight across. So for the whole number eight, all we need to do for whole numbers is put them over one to change them to a fraction. So pretty simple for whole numbers. Now mixed numbers, we need to start at the bottom and work our way up. So we multiply and then add. We do four times one is four, plus three is seven. We keep the denominator of four the same. So now we have the mixed number and whole number in fractional form. We have numerators and denominators. Now we can multiply straight across. But before doing so, you can check to see if you can use cancellation, cross cancellation. This will help simplify the problem before we multiply. And in the case of number one, we can use cross cancellation. So you're looking for common factors between the numerators and denominators. So for example, our eight and four have a greatest common factor of four. So we can divide both by four. Eight divided by four is two, and four divided by four is one. So we now have easier numbers to work with here. So we simplified the problem. You can think of it as simplifying the problem before you multiply. So two times seven is 14. One times one is one. So we end up with an improper fraction there, 14 over one, which is just 14. We can write it as a whole number. Now I do want to mention when it comes to cross cancellation, if you're not fully understanding that, I do have a video that goes into further detail. I'll drop that link down in the description. If you do not use cross cancellation, you will still get to the correct answer. Um, let's actually do that. So we had eight over one times seven over four. So let's do it without cancellation and see what happens. Eight times seven is 56. One times four is four. So we got 56 over four instead of 14 over one. But we need to simplify here. We have an improper fraction. We need to um, convert this to a mixed number or maybe it works out to a whole number. So we do that by dividing the numerator 56 by four. So 56 divided by four does work out to be 14. So you can see that we got the same answer. On to number two, where we have two and five sixths times seven. So again, first thing we need to do is change or convert our mixed numbers and whole numbers to fractions. So let's do our mixed number here, start at the bottom, multiply and add. So six times two is 12, plus five is 17. Keep the denominator of six the same times. Remember, for any whole numbers, we can just put it over 1 to put it in fractional form. So 7 over 1 there. Now, let's see if we can use any cancellation in order to simplify this problem before multiplying. So check to see if we have any common factors between the numerators and denominators other than 1. But in the case of number 2, the only common factors we have uh, between you know 6 and 7, 17 and 1 is 1. So we cannot use cancellation. So we go right to multiplying straight across. And we'll start with 17 times 7, which we can come to the side to solve. 7 times 7, 49. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 4, 11. So we get 119. 6 times 1, is six. 
So we end up with an improper fraction, which we need to change to a mixed number and then see if we can simplify any further if we have any fractions involved um, after we do that. So it's either going to work out to a whole number like number one, or if we have a remainder, it's going to work out to be a mixed number. So we need to do 119 divided by six. So let's, let's come down here, 119 divided by six. So we'll start with 11 divided by six, which is one. One times six is six. Subtract, we get five. Bring down our nine. And we have 59 divided by six now. So how many whole groups of six out of 59? Well, nine, that gets us to 54. Nine times six is 54. Subtract, we get a remainder of five. So 19, remainder five. So our whole number is going to be 19. Our remainder of five is going to be the numerator of the fractional part. And we keep our denominator of six the same. So we get 19 and 5 sixths. Now we do need to look to see if we can simplify any further, but 5 sixths is in simplest form, so we are done. Our final answer is 19 and 5 sixths. So there you have it. There's how you multiply mixed numbers and whole numbers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.